Yeah, but uh, first of all, let me tell, talk about uh, the bachelor degree of health informatics. So first of all, I want to give you some really hard facts that you know what you expect. So it's a bachelor degree of sciences, you, uh, which is in duration of seven semesters, so 3.5 years, and the course language is 100% English. So uh, the first and the second semester can be studied on campus here, and this is the usual way. But we also offer, especially since the, the corona pan pandemic, um, online courses and online um, material of our teaching. So if you have visa problems and visa delays, then you could also start your um, study um, Bachelor Health Informatics. So it's very, a focus from us is that you can individualize your um, your study in some elective courses. So you have elective courses, for example, in telematics, in evidence-based medicine, in artificial intelligence, in data analytics. So you have different parts you can work on uh, according to your uh, interest. And uh, what is very important here in Germany is that you have a compulsory inter internship semester. So it's a great opportunity for you to be part in a company here in Germany, but it could also be a company around the world. Um, and you have to work there in a real work environment for a half a year. So it's um, very helpful to have an insight into real working environment. And as I saw in the chat, there was also a question about the consecutive qualifications. Of course, we have here a bachelor degree where you can have then uh, or can go on with master degrees like digital health, as Professor Chatikin will present you, or for example, the joint master global public health. And these are just two of them which we, uh, which we have here on the campus. So what is the course about the Bachelor Health program? It's about, on the one hand side, the, all the IT stuff, all the internet stuff, web design. On the other hand, it's also about coding. So if you're interested more in coding, really application development, sensor device development, so you're on the right side here. So we also have data analytics, a uh, very uh, short insight into data analytics and also artificial intelligence. We use virtual glasses, virtual reality, augmented reality, mixed reality. So this is a big focus in this uh, program. We also have, on the other hand, um, a focus on some parts of global health. We also have um, a focus on economics um, and directions so that you know how to deal with that in project management, IT project management, that you know how to go on with that, how to do an agile development of, for example, a software application in the domain of health. And finally, all the stuff we have, and also the legal parts, the, the data security, data protection parts, the uh, GDPR parts, um, is all in the domain of health. So where can you work then? Uh, later, you can, of course, work in the medical technology and medical software manufacturers. You can be a part, a member of the healthcare service branches, uh, the pharmaceutical industries, the hospitals and rehabilitation facilities. We have many of them in the nearer part. You, you, can be, you can be a part of the health portals, the health insurance companies, consulting firms, providers of IT services, of health apps. You could be a part of manufacturers of fitness gadgets, um, associations, authorities, and many, many more. Yeah, and one very important thing is for you, of course, if you are new, the admissions and the admission requirements. So at first, um, you need a general university entrance qualification. Then you need uh, an English language skill specified of B2. And we also have a online assessment test, written assessment test. Um, which is about 90 minutes. So we ask you about general, really basic mathematics, uh, statistics, uh, IT and health and economics questions. 
but really basic level just to see that when you start, because we want that you will become an expert in this domain, so that you start not on extremely different levels, so that we have also very good and very interesting students here at the campus, and that you are here to learn more, most of the uh, things uh, about the health informatics. So the application process is between 15 of April and 15 of July, not June, sorry for this mistype. Um, it's 15 of July and the starting date will be the 1st of October. And to bring you more in interest, what you would expect, I will share you a very, very short video. This is um, yeah, a, a, in the near of the campus, the region of Rotal Inn, you see, there, uh, there are some hills, small hills, and here you will see what you will expect. with a drone into our body. We have a virtual environment and then we come out from the eye and see that everything was just virtual and we trained, for example, physicians and doctors to, to, to do something um, on the patient. So our focus is digital health, is health informatics and we would be very glad to welcome you. What we offer is an excellent quality of teaching. We uh, offer modern teaching methods. So it is a range from, um, from, from teaching in, 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 in normal teaching in presence, to virtual teaching. We have teaching with VR classes. We have teaching in groups, and we can use teaching also in our um, state-of-the-art laboratories. So we also have very uh, excellent laboratories um, where we can do some hands-on on what we learned. And of course, you as a student should be part of our pioneering research parts and the research activities. For example, we are um, applying for a 5G project in the domain of health and I would welcome you to be part of this very, very interesting pioneering research project. So it's your time and it's your chance to be a member of the faculty um, European Campus Rotterdam for the health informatics. Thank you very much for your attention. <laughs>